Today, I thought I'd share a little bit of information about vanilla. Vanilla is native to Mexico and Central America, but it's also grown in Madagascar, Indonesia, and Tahiti. These areas all provide the tropical climate that best suits the growth of the vanilla vine. And while there are more than 50 species of vanilla orchid, only three have found their way into commercial food utilization. Mexico was the first major producer of vanilla until the 19th century. Because vanilla vines are relatively easy to grow under the right conditions, vanilla beans, when they're first picked, are actually odorless and must be cured for their characteristic aroma to form. There are several different curing methods used, but they all have similarities. The first step is wilting or killing the beans, which stops them from growing. The second step is sweating the beans, which causes rapid dehydration and slow fermentation to occur. The third step is low temperature drying, which reduces the moisture content of the beans by about 25%. The fourth step is conditioning or aging the beans, which allows for proper flavor development. Finally, after the beans have been cured, they're grated and bundled. It's common for extracts to be made from vanilla beans, although the beans can also be used whole or in powdered form. Vanilla extracts are basically made by crushing the beans, mixing them with a solution of water and ethanol, and then removing the residue from the liquid. So whether it's a jar of cookies or a bowl of ice cream, vanilla's flavor is as popular as it is distinct. For more information, please visit sunup.okstate.edu or visit fapc.biz.